what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A lieutenant with the New York Police Department who knelt alongside George Floyd protesters on May 31st apologized for doing so in an email to his colleagues saying the cop in me wanted to kick my own ass. Wow. Family. That ain't the worst. Let me tell you what this sucker said. He said he spent the first half of his career trying to be a good cop. And he threw it all away on May 31st when he knelt with the protesters. Now, why did he kneel with the protesters? He said that he succumbed to the pressure because he didn't want one of the wild protesters to injure one of his cops. They were outnumbered. So many of them. In other words, he was scared. So he took a knee. Mmm, I think we may be on to something here. So you mean to tell me the big bad police with all of that power, all of that authority, all of that munitions bow down to the people allow the people to bend his will hmm you mean to tell me that if the people come together and come strong enough they can put the police in check hmm what did they say? The chant was NYPD take a knee. NYPD take a knee. NYPD take a knee. NYPD take a knee. And he bowed down. This idea that he have of kneeling in solidarity with the protesters goes to the heart of the mentality that they have where he felt like he had embarrassed himself. He felt ashamed because he was in solidarity with the people. It's that us against them mentality by any means. It doesn't matter what type of human cause that they're protesting for. It's us against them. And I shall be a police officer no matter what. I can't have empathy. I can't stand in solidarity with the people. I can't allow it to get to me. I got to be a cop first. I got to be hard. I got to be against the people because I'm a cop and I'm for the cops no matter what. This is their mentality when one of their own kills, rapes, steals, sells dope, brutalizes, embezzles. This is what they do when one of their own show up coked up and doped up, drunk. They cover for them. And they would feel embarrassed if they didn't. It's a culture, fam. This is why people are saying defund the police. They got to go, fam. They're useless. They are worth more trouble than they're worth. They are just, they're not worth the trouble. I do believe that you get rid of them and that to a large extent, the people will police themselves. The police are, look, all of these cases, most of the cases that the police charge people with are cases that the police made up. Cases that the police actually 
initiated. Case in point, see, some of y'all kind of slow. So y'all don't think the police can just charge people and come up with stuff. Case in point, you're standing on the corner, you're minding your own business. You're not hurting anyone. They show up. What you doing? Uh, standing on the corner, minding my own business. You got any ID? Uh, what did I show you my ID for? Uh, cause I asked you for it. Well, I don't have to show you my ID. I mean, unless I'm, I'm being accused of a crime. Am I a suspect in a crime? No. Am I being detained? No. Well, I ain't got to show you my ID. Oh, you know what? Turn around. For what? As soon as you go, for what? As soon as you flinch, assault on a police officer. As soon as you flinch, resisting arrest. And then they start beating on you and beating on you. And part of them, when they beat on you, part of them ch uh, charging you is to make you feel relieved if they decide, if you try to decide, if, if you try to sue them, now they got you on criminal charges. So they come to you and they tell you, to, the DA, go to your lawyer and say, look, if you drop the charges, we'll drop our charges. You leave his stuff alone, he leave it alone, we'll leave it alone. They, they file these charges as a bargaining tool. They, they file these resisting arrest and, and assault on police officer charges. They use it as a bargaining tool to get you to plea out and to drop your charges against them. Damn near any time you go to jail, they put them cuffs on you. If there's a, if there's, any type of flinching are going on, man. They finna hit you with a assault on a police officer and all kinds of stuff. They have an us against them mentality. This Lieutenant Catani, that's his name, Robert Catani, you know that if you look into his record, it's horrible. You got to know this is the type of dude that's in a leadership position. If he has that us against them mentality, then you know he's sending his soldiers and minions out and they have the exact same mentality. I keep telling you, fam, leadership starts at the top. Robert Catania. Your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. Suck it up, buttercup. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? <laughs>